What's up, Devils? j Dog back with another goddamn fucking video here. And today's video, we got a one-off question, which I love the goddamn one-offs that I can have a lot to say about because it gives me a fucking video for one topic to just stay on top of. And it was from none other than Metal Musician 6996. Shout out to you, brah, brah. And all the fucking regular devils, I'm sure, recognize you. And if they don't, then I guess they're either blind or fucking stupid because you're pretty much common at every goddamn thing. And I've done lots of fucking responses to you, so I'm sure they fucking recognize you. So thanks for another comment, brah, brah. And this one's a good one. And he just says, uh, damn, dude, that's crazy about the oil change story. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, kind of totally forgot about that one, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I remember just off the cuff. Who knows what else is in the fucking old noggin that I'll remember up on video. And I'll tell those stories, too. Anyways, this question is. Got a non-metal related question. I was curious on how some of these bodybuilders that are somewhat young are passing away. I just saw your steroid video and it made me remember the passing of Rich Piana. Yeah. And there was recently a guy, a guy a few years older than me, I'm 26. Oh, young buck. That just passed away who had a wife and a kid. I'm pretty sure you're talking about Boston Lloyd. And yeah, I'll get to him in a minute. The media says it's steroids, but I was cur curious if there's a lot more to it. Okay, yeah, I'll get to that. And what I did is I made actually a small list here, guys, of people that I was a fan of that died in the last few years. Rich Piana, and uh, he mentioned, and also Dallas McCarver. It's weird because uh, I think it was 2016 that they died, but it was like a week apart from each other. Like, I forget which one died first. Maybe Rich died. And then I actually think Dallas died, but Rich was only in a coma. And like five days later, Rich died. So it's kind of crazy. And, uh, but in the recent time of this, in the last past year, well, actually, another older one too. I think it was 2017 then, or maybe 18. Uh, Matt Porter also died, uh, and then recently was Ben Boston Lloyd, who he, that's I'm pretty sure that's almost positive that's who he was just referring to, which was like two weeks ago. George Peterson, John Meadows, and Sean Roden. The reason I mentioned those because there's a lot of other guys that weren't as uh, big big of names, and other guys that were big of names. There's a couple girls too, but I wasn't really a fan of every single one of those people I just mentioned. I'm a, a big big fan of, and I've uh, been been a big follower of them. Like Boston Lloyd, for example, is. Uh, I followed him since he put out his first uh, viral video where he talked about all his dosages. He did that transformation video. Not the one that's on YouTube now. That's reposted by some, just some random ass fucking channel. They know who the fuck that is. But it, the very original that he posted, I saw it back then. So was that eight to 10 years ago? Something like that. And uh, I've been a fan of him ever since that because uh, just very, very honest guy, open. And it was kind of like a eye opener in a sense to what's going on. Uh, I think even to what's going on, I don't think it's quite as fucking extreme as what the fuck he was doing. Uh, that was a little nutty for sure. But anyways, um, as far as a lot of these guys dying, uh, first of all, and a lot before I say anything, well, some, like I said, some of these, this is pre-vaccine. So before any of these guys say that, it's like, just just shut the fuck up. Please. It has nothing to do with that. And uh, second off, like in Boston Lloyd, for example, he he was totally anti-vaccine, which is kind of funny with all the, the insane fucking shit he was going to do, but he was afraid of a pharmaceutical vaccine. Whatever. But uh, this is in case anybody puts it out, that's it's definitely not because of that. Any of these guys I'm mentioning. Uh, so I'm kind of going to go over them one by one and give my opinions. And again, like I said, and I and I and I'm not just saying this to say this. I was a fan of every single one of these fucking guys, um, quite a bit actually. Um, guys like John Meadows and Matt Porter, I learned a ton from. That's actually a lot of knowledge I have. Someone was them, Dave Palumbo, and a lot of other guys. But uh, Matt Porter and John Meadows, a lot of it came from uh, them. So I pieced together a lot of different uh, guys in the industry. So when they died, I was definitely fucking shocked. So anyways, I'll kind of go one by one of what, what I personally think. So let's start the first one, uh, Rich Piano, which you mentioned. I think for him, it was a combination. I don't think it was just the uh, steroids. And it, I mean, I'm not going to say it had no effect whatsoever. I think, because uh, you actually look at his doses, so there's people online and stuff like that, especially when he did his uh, publicly, he posted all his doses, stuff like that, the bigger by the day. And then everybody was freaking out and stuff like that. And I'm just looking, I'm like, any of you guys that are freaking out, this is like, you clearly don't know the bodybuilding world whatsoever. Uh, and I'm talking about, not you guys, I'm talking about guys that are commenting and they think they're in the world. Like that's, they're, they're a fan of and they follow and they're like, oh my God, this shit is so outlandish. I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is pretty conservative. Like this isn't a big deal at all. I've, I've, I've no guys in person that have done way fucking more. And uh, in the pro levels, it's way more extreme. I was like, this is yeah, pretty conservative. Like, I don't think those kind of doses on and off, second off, I, I don't think would kill you. I really don't. If that was it, I Honest, f fucking whoever the hell you believe, I don't think would, would fucking kill you. Um, now, what I do think is it's going to fast track you a little bit, and the other his other lifestyles. I mean, he was definitely addicted to um, painkillers, Percocets, and uh, he had an Adderall problem. I don't know about a problem, but you know, it definitely definitely used it as shit more than what they should have been. 
And then uh, also there was that thing about the silicone coming out. Was he pumping silicone? Because he was doing something, whether it's PMMA or implants or whatever. But it come out supposedly with silicone. I can't say I know a whole lot about that because that definitely doesn't go on in the bodybuilding world a lot. Uh, that's more of a kind of like um, like the transvestites do that shit. And the uh, Brazilians, uh, with their Bra those Brazilian butt jobs you see, that's kind of common in that. And yeah, a lot of people do die from that because if a piece breaks off, it gets your bloodstream. It's, it's literally toxic. So who knows? I've heard recent that it's actually that that probably killed him. But I think in all likelihood, it's probably a combination of everything. So not just steroids. I mean, if it was just if he lived a totally healthy lifestyle outside of everything, just did steroids, I, I would I would bet money he'd still be alive. Next guy, uh, Dallas McCarver. And this is the reason why I'm doing this too is because when Boss and Lloyd died, I thought about doing my own video and putting it up. Kind of like the one of the reasons I do these videos, guys, too, for you is um. Case whenever, whatever I kick the bucket, whatever that is, whether it's five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now, whatever the fuck it is, it's kind of like uh, right, uh, having a journal, right? I kind of have some of my thoughts, my opinions, albums I like, etc. Kind of documented, you know what I mean? I think it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? So when I'm long gone or whatever, so my thoughts and whatever uh, are out there, right? It's just on fucking video, not the highest quality video, but the shit camera still, but you know what I mean? Nonetheless, kind of like a half ass journal, right? And, uh, so I thought about doing it for Boston and uh, because just he's a big name and kind of like a little bit of clickbait in a sense, because who knows, I figured some of the non-metal people would uh, click on it and, uh, you know, get another opinion. But also the reason I wanted to do it too is because I was seeing like Dave Palumbo and shit, who, who I'm a fan of Dave. I actually, I, I mean, I talk to Dave. I text him every now and then. Like he, uh, he's the one that taught me how to do my blood work. Like, I like the guy a lot, but sometimes he says shit. I'm just like, what the fuck, man? And where I almost want to get my opinion out there and other people are making the same thing. So when it comes to the fucking boss, and let's just call it like it is, it's 1,000% because of steroids. 1,000%. There's not even like, eh, well, he had this because it's a order burst or whatever they said. I don't give a fuck what the cause of death was. What it, this the bottom line is, if he didn't choose to do bodybuilding or to take any steroids, he would be alive today. There's no ifs, ands, kind of, sort of, maybe, buts. Yeah, he was 29 years old. He died, what, two, three weeks ago now? And uh, there's no maybes. Now, people are like, okay, well, that be, so steroids are dangerous. They killed him. Anybody that knows this, go look him up. And if you know anything about the pharmaceutical side of bodybuilding, he was he was doing experiments on himself that were so fucking outlandishly fucking insane, fucking extreme that it was like everybody's been telling this guy for years, for years. Everybody was telling this guy, "You're not going to make it to forty. You're not going to make it to forty. He didn't make it to thirty. Sean Ray's on record for saying, "Uh, they're going back and forth." And Sean Ray said, "Yeah, we'll come back to." Come back and talk. This is like five, six years ago. He said, come back and talk to me when you're my age. Oh, guess what? You won't. He said, because you're going to be dead before then. And even myself, like I've, I've been saying for years, I'm like, uh, maybe talking to my wife, whatever, watching a video. She's like, like, you think he's going to live a long life? I was like, he, I was like, I will bet everything I have, our house, my bank account, he won't make it to 50. No fucking way. No possible way he's going to make it to 50. Now, I wouldn't have guessed that he's going to die at 29. <laughs> But uh, I'm not, I can't say I'm shocked by it. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's kind of like a no fucking brainer. So him, 1,000%. However, when the media de demonizes it, oh, he's got a steroid, like, that's horseshit, though. That's, he died of just being an abusive dumbass. Again, I'm not saying this to be respectful, uh, disrespectful, because I really did like the guy a lot. I thought he was, and we can all benefit from him, like people in that world, because he was kind of like a walking fucking guinea pig. And you kind of figure out there's no studies on a lot of the stuff and the doses that he was doing. So you kind of see what worked, what didn't work, what fucking affected this blood work, what fucking affected these organs, how do you feel, what kind of results you get. You learn a lot from them if you actually followed them. So it's it's not all bad. So I think a lot of good came out of it because some people like, oh, wow, so you don't need this much shit and this much shit doesn't lead to better results uh, because he's had to have taken more than any fucking other person on this fucking planet. I'm sure there's other some other weirdo out there, you know, that never documented over in Russia or something that tried to, crazy shit too also probably not alive but he's the one that documented and put up went out publicly with it right i'm sure there's somebody is but i mean you know he was a big guy or whatever but he never turned pro he wasn't a pro bodybuilder he wasn't fucking ronnie coleman size he wasn't big rammy size he wasn't nick walker size and i can guarantee you those guys weren't taking even a fraction when he does it. he even admits that he's like i don't even think because they'd be fucking dead or have health problems or whatever so him 1000 percent but i wouldn't blame it on the quote unquote the steroid family or the dead drug family because well, would you blame aspirins kill people if a guy's like, I'm going to take a bottle of aspirin every fucking day? Well, no, you wouldn't blame aspirin. Like, uh, aspirin kills people. No, the guy was taking a retarded fucking dose. He'd probably be dead. If you took the whole bottle, it'd probably kill you that day. But maybe you'd get rushed off to the ambulance and they'd pump your stomach and clean out your liver. But let's just say you just did it every day. See, how, how long can I go? What's it going to do? You'd be dead within a fucking week, two weeks tops, depending on how many times you're going to the hospital. So technically speaking, that would kill you faster than any, because he took more steroids than you could possibly even fucking 
putting a syringe in your fit in your body. He, like, he, it was in, Just go go search out his videos if you want to watch this. It's absolutely fucking insane, this shit. He was, like, mind-blowing. Like, like, dude, like, why would you even, like, that doesn't even make sense. Almost like, again, it's it was entertaining, I'll give it that, but it's like, dude, you, you, are you borderline fucking retarded? Like, and I mean that, like, not to say that, I mean, I literally, like, do you have some type of retardation? Because you have to, to fucking even think that that was even somewhat of a good idea. So, let's call it like it is. Yeah, so him is 1,000%, but it's just being abused. He would have that on anything. If you abuse anything to that fucking caliber, hell, even if you abused water to that degree, it would fucking kill you. You know the girl that died of drowned herself tr trying to win a PlayStation? Drank too much water one sitting and died. Literally killed her. So, literally anything will do that. So, did steroids kill him? They did, but being but it's not that the, the drug themselves that killed him, the hormones, it's being a dumbass killed him. So let's call it like it is, you know what I mean? Other guy I mentioned earlier before that died right after Rich, uh Dallas McCarver. Uh same thing. He was a pro body, a really good pro. Uh kind of the same thing as Boston. He didn't document his stuff, but it's a well-known fact in the world of people that know him. Uh like Nick Trigilli and shit was good friends with him, which I've talked to Nick in uh emails and stuff like that. Some people don't like Nick, but whatever, I like him. Um, supposedly he's a scamster or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know his personal life. Don't really give a fuck. I like him. Um, anyways, and, and, and you can just look at, uh, Dallas McCarver's autopsy report. You know, his testosterone levels, what was shown in his blood levels. He was using abusive, absolutely insane abusive amounts. So same thing as, uh, Boston. Well, it's not that, that, that it's steroids that killed him. It's fucking being a reckless fucking dumbass. And anything in an extreme excess will kill anybody. So... Kind of an unfair uh, uh, statement. Now, other guys where it gets a little complicated. John Meadows, I, um, I'm i sure it fast-tracked him. It'd be my guess. But keep in mind, too, so he died of a heart attack, John Meadows. And he was shocking when he died because um, he was one of the real health-conscious bodybuilders. Like one of them, as a matter of fact, a lot of the health protocols I do and blood work things I look for, like fasting insulin I look for on a, on a blood work. I, le I learned that from, first from him. More guys are ordering fasting insulin on a blood work. Or most people just check the fasting blood glucose. So there's a little things I learned from him. And um, well, many curcumin and stuff like that, that was way, that was popular now, but not way years ago when he uh, introduced it. There's a lot of things that I learned from John. Anyways, he was very, very health conscious. Of, what was he? He was 40. He was 49. Don't quote. He definitely wasn't 50, but I want to say he was 49. And he died of a heart attack. Now, yes, I think it fast tracked. Let's say it again. If he decided to be a golfer or never took any antibiotics whatsoever, would he still be alive? If he lived the exact same healthy lifestyle, like all the other things, did, did cardio and uh, watch what he ate and took his health supplements like that, I think he would be. But keep in mind, if he just lived a general lifestyle, just say he wasn't a bodybuilding, but he just lived like an average American, I don't know if he'd still be alive because a lot of people don't know his dad died of a heart attack when he was like 37 or something. So technically, John, he died of the exact same thing. Um, I mean, the, whatever type of heart attack John had, I forget, but I guess it was the exact same thing as his dad had. And his dad wasn't a bodybuilder. So he literally outlived his dad by 12 years, and he was taking steroids. So, again, I think probably his lifestyle choice of being uh, his, his health consciousness probably prolonged it a little bit more. And then kind of like they left themselves out the antibiotics, kind of like shortened his lifespan. But the healthy lifestyle increased it, you know what I mean? So it kind of leveled out. But if he just did no antibiotics and only the healthier lifestyle, he probably would have made it to the 60s or so. Um, so did it kill him? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, hmm, I mean, if he lived just like a normal guy like his dad did, he probably would have died much, much earlier. So, dude, I mean, just take that for what it is. Uh, George Peterson, supposedly, too, he died, uh, I don't believe, I don't, I never got uh, saw his dosage or whatever, dude, but, I mean, his coach talks like that and it doesn't sound abusive at all. I don't get the vibe that he was abusive, but who the fuck knows? You never, never, never know just because somebody says something and it don't mean goddamn fucking thing. Uh, plus, a lot of these guys fucking lie their asses off. However, what I do think, I would bet my nutsack on it. And his coach says, no, nope, wasn't even using diuretics because he died two days before the Olympia. This was just last year. Uh, he died in his hotel room. I think he was a Thursday night and the, Friday, the show was, it was either Wednesday night or Thursday night. Maybe it was Wednesday because uh, cause me and my wife, like I said, we go to the Olympia every year. And Thursday is the uh, press conference. And the Meet the Olympians. And then Friday is the pre-judging show. So he was definitely still getting ready for it. And he was a 212 competitor, so he's making weight. And he was definitely known for always being shredded and shit. Uh, I would bet anything that what he died of was uh, diuretics. I would I would bet it because it was a heart attack what he died of. But I I, I would I would say it's di it's was diuretics. But he goes, no, he, he wasn't taking diuretics. Bullshit, dude. Like, literally, it's just flat-out bullshit. Like, you can say that, tell that to whoever the fuck you want, whatever fucking dumb dumb's gonna believe that. This guy ain't. I'm not a fucking idiot, man. Like, I know how, I know this, I know this sport, I know this name of the game, and especially if you're in a class to make weight, you're 1,000% using diuretics. 
Um, and that's the, the open, most pros talk about diuretics pretty openly now because it's just such a common thing. They do use the diuretics to um, dry out more, pull that water out from underneath the skin because you'll look extra shredded on stage, get that last bit off. And But all uh, the uh, the weight categories, the 212s, because they got to make weight, they can't weigh more than 212 pounds. It's generally they're all shorter guys. So um, they're still behemothly fucking big because if you're five foot five, three percent body fat, and you're fucking two hundred and eight pounds or whatever, trust me, you're a big ass motherfucker. But so sometimes they have a hard time making weights like two thirteen, two fourteen. So not only are they using them to get a tip top fucking um, what they call conditioning, that look of like getting rid of that uh, layer of water, they're also doing it to make weight too. So and the fact that he's two twelve, get the fuck out of here, man. It's, it's, so I would I would bet you any money George died a fucking. Uh, of diuretic use, so not by steroids by any means. And oh, by the way, and I think because uh, the autopsy report did come out on him, I don't buy that autopsy report for two fucking seconds. What is say uh, like because for example, the drug the people are like, oh, you take diuretics, look at his autopsy. I already know some smart ass is going to say that. So let me. Tell, I'm glad I just remembered that. Uh, th- I don't buy that autopsy for two seconds. All would it say all that was in the system was uh, what testosterone, echo poison, winstrol, bull fucking shit, bull shit. Um, they just, it was a half ass fucking, the the doctor fucked up or they, they did a half ass fucking tox screen, something. There's no way that that was accurate whatsoever. Uh, because there's other compounds he would 1,000 be on. People are like, oh, because his shit was fake. There's no way a guy at that level would be. <laughs> yeah. Anyone anyway, says that that's what uh, Plumbo said that too. And that's where I'm shaking my head. I'm almost ready to text him. I'm like, dude, why are you even saying some of this shit? You know 1,000% that this is not the fucking truth. Because like certain compounds you add in, especially when you lean, you notice a difference. For example, you will automatically look different within days. And he technically wasn't on that. Every competitor is going to be taken. Every single one of them. Anyone in this world knows what the fuck I'm talking about that weren't found in the system. Things like Mastron, Trembolone. And he's going to be also using the, so he wasn't using any T3. He wasn't using any Clumbuterol. Give me a fucking break. He thousand percent was. There's no way he's getting fake shit because A, what kind of, what, what pro who's making a living off this is getting shit that were to be fucking fake. The stuff's not hard to get real stuff. That's one. And number two is like, he would know within a week or two, if it's fake, he'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? X, Y, and Z isn't happening. I know what happens when you take X, Y, and Z happens. Like he would 100% know. So uh, that's, I don't buy that for two fucking seconds. You can take that fucking autopsy and show it up your ass. We're always going to use that as an excuse. So I already know some guys are going to come and say that shit. Who else do we have? I'm sorry. I went over Rich Dallas. Boston George, uh, Matt, we'll go Matt Porter and Sean Roden. That's who we have left. Uh, Matt Porter, I think it's most likely uh, drug abuse as well, anabolic abuse. Now, he was, uh, Matt was pretty, he was kind of, in my opinion, he's one of the guys kind of doing the half truths, one of the first guys to start doing them. Because what he did, he, he was truthful about uh, his back in the day when he was younger, that he used pretty abusive amounts. And that's what I believe caught up to him, assuming he was doing somewhat even conservative stuff towards the end, which I, this is where I think it's half true. Anyone that knows him at the end, he was, he had these really low doses. He was saying, he's like, I'm like TRT with like a low dose of Anavar or something. It's like, dude, and I've met him in person at the, uh, at the uh, Olympia Expo. He was fucking enormous. I'm like, and he was saying, well, cause yeah, cause it doesn't take as much to maintain. That's true. As much, doesn't take as much, uh, androgens to maintain what you've already built than it is to build something you've never had. That's a hundred percent true, dude, but you cannot maintain what he had very lean state like shredded as fuck just walking around definitely single digit body fat and very very fucking big bullshit dude so he was definitely sure if the fuck out what he was even currently doing but what was he currently doing no idea could be who the fuck knows uh maybe he was even using abusive amounts that time but assuming he wasn't using abusive amounts he's using conservative amounts which i would confine believable the fact that he died well, shit he was like 30 i think he was 35 when he died i think he was the same age as me most positive he was. And it was like two years ago now. So that's about right. Because I'm 37 now. Um, I would have to believe, chalk it up to it was, uh, it was uh, the abuse over the years, the prior, when he's in his 20s. And it caught, caught up to him. Now, a lot of these things, this is what Palumbo says a lot too. And what kind of irritates me, like, well, no, because it's high blood pressure. Because I know, uh, like, uh, Matt did have high blood pressure. It's like, yeah, he had high blood pressure. It wasn't managed. His high blood pressure wasn't managed. It's like, but yes, but he had high blood pressure because he was bodybuilding and taking anabolics. That's why he had high blood pressure. He didn't just magically have high blood pressure. Now you can make the argument like, well, well all he would need to do is to, to if, if it was the blood pressure that caught up to him and that's what eventually killed him, 
that uh, he could have just taken a blood pressure medication. And I agree with that 100%. That's one of my profile. That's why I tell all these all these guys that they come up to me enough, I, t- I tell them, what's your blood pressure? And they don't even, 99 times out of 100, they don't even know. I was like, dude, first off, you're in the bodybuilding, you, you need to have a blood pressure cuff at home. You take it take it first thing in the morning, and you take it in the evening as well. You do that at least two to three times a week, see what your fucking average is. What do you at? I guarantee you your fucking elevator high. And what you can do, if you if you want a bodybuild, bro, you need to get on a blood pressure medication, either an ACE inhibitor or ARB. That's what you need to be. It's not up for discussion. If you want a bodybuild, that's what the fuck you need to do. Because it's kind of like a, it's a, a it's just a protect, help, protective fucking medication at that point. It's like, yes, ideally, take no medications whatsoever and just have your natural be good. Okay, right, but your bodybuilding, so you're not natural and you're fucking... It comes with the territory. So either, yeah, you can do it naturally. Just brother, just stop body weight. Stop that. And yeah, your blood pressure will come back down. But you're going to be like, well, that's not an option. Okay, well, then you need to take fucking <laughs> uh, proactive fucking measures. And that's what you do. Take a fucking uh, a blood pressure medication. So in a sense, when Dave says things like that, well, if you just control his blood pressure, should he probably still be alive? He's got a point uh, to that point. But the, and the guys are wising up now to a lot of them are jumping on blood pressure medications and cholesterol medications like they should be. But the fact of the matter is, you can't deny the fact if he was a fucking golfer and never got a bodybuilding whatsoever, he, he would, would a thousand percent still be alive. And then lastly, uh, Sean Roden, which uh, I was definitely shocked when fucking Sean died. Um, it's funny because uh, I was actually at the, he won the Olympia once, which was 2018, I believe. And uh, I was there when he won the actual show. The year that I met him was in 2017, the year before. And it was a little interesting is uh, so I got my picture with him and I bought a photo off him, one of his press photos, and had him sign it. And on it, he wrote uh, to Justin. He says, the best is yet to come, which I thought that was kind of weird because the very following year, he actually wins the fucking Olympia, which is crazy as fuck. Uh, no one saw that coming. And even when I was there, I was literally shocked. I didn't have, did not think that was going to happen. Uh, so then after that, there was the whole rape accusation, things like that. And he could never compete again. Uh, I believe with him because actually I know for a fact uh, he was very conservative because a lot of people would uh, that insiders would talk about. I don't think it was steroids at all that killed him. I believe it was uh, the whole uh, stress and just um, of everything that broke. That's what pretty much most people believe. He, uh, if you look up, he had that whole pending rape charge. He was, did he actually do that? I don't. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't know him on that level or whatever. He, he did it in interviews and when I met him, he didn't come off as a cross as a person like to do that. But what was he like behind closed doors? I have no fucking clue. But nonetheless, uh, guilty or not guilty, he definitely had some evidence against against him. He was arrested. Um, it wasn't like it was just an accusation. Like, pfft, you know who? Uh, it wasn't one of those deals. He's actually arrested. And there was literally evidence where it's like, oh, no, dude, I'm not going to pass judgment, but this don't look fucking good. Um, so, I mean, he had over his head to where, uh, and even, fuck, I think he was out on bail or whatever, or maybe a bond, which was like, it was like a shitload of money, six figures for sure. But um, he, he had hanging over his head whenever he's going to trial that he's possibly going to be doing 10, 20 years in fucking prison. I mean, when you have that over and under your head, whether even if you're guilty or not guilty, and that's a very strong possibility. It was looking like that's, that's probably what was going to happen, guilty or not. Like, uh, the, the jury's probably going to find you guilty, and you're, you're going to do fucking minimally 10 years of prison. You're going to be stressed out of your fucking skull, and that's what I believe killed him. And that's what most people uh, think so, too. Could be wrong. Um, and I, was he a big party guy or whatever in the party drugs? I, I've heard through the grapevine that he's not, but I've heard some people say that he is a two. I know he was really into uh, fucking women. I know that's why I thought that's uh, funny because I've heard stories through the grapevine with him of all these fucking, like, I guess he was even like having three ways with fucking uh, Rich Piana's ex-wife. Uh, maybe not the time with Rich Piana, but like crazy shit. You know what I mean? So like I hear he was a fucking around as far as that goes. So uh, I find it hard to believe that he wasn't a party or on top of that, but supposedly he wasn't. I don't know. Cause I mean, you could say that that uh, attributed to it. But I definitely don't think, based on what I know of his use and shit like that, but he was he was in uh, bodybuilding for several years when his dad died too. So like, as far as his uh, quote unquote steroid use, when we talk about did that kill him, I don't. I mean, his his from everything I know from reliable sources, I'd be very surprised if that killed him because it was very very conservative. And uh, the reason I say it, when I say conservative use, this guys, this is a lot of this is documented. It's nowhere near like you can. You, you can literally watch your fucking health markers and get your organ imaging and things like that. And, and tons of bodybuilders that were conservative, like back in Arnold's day and shit. I mean, look at all these guys. They're still alive. Fucking Albert Beckles, who competed in the 80s. The guy's like 86 years old. He's still alive. Arnold's still alive. Frank Zane's still fucking alive. Tons of these guys, even for the ones he has that seem like they're dropping dead, a lot of guys are fucking still alive. Lee Haney in perfect fucking health. Dorian Yates, he had to been somewhat extreme, right? He was a fucking mass monster. He's pushing 60 and he has no health problems whatsoever. Ever. I mean, other than some torn muscles and shit, because it's the shit he was doing in the gym. But as far as internal health, no health problems whatsoever. And uh, will he make the 70, 80 years old? I, I would bet money he would. It would be the least. I mean, I don't, you never know. Anyone, he could die in a car wreck tomorrow. I don't know. But I'm mean, just saying, like, 
I don't get the fucking vibe that he's uh one foot in the grave, one on a banana peel, right? Like, as opposed to there's some people in the metal scene, I think that. Like, dude, I'm waiting for this dude to kick me. Like, Ozzy Osbourne. I, I wake up every day. Ozzy's still alive. Holy shit. Can't believe it. You know what I mean? Total one foot in the grave, one on a banana peel. So, uh, but I don't get that the vibe of, like, Dorian Yates at all. So, and, uh, look, Kevin Lavroni, total, totally still healthy. I mean, there's guys. You know what I mean? So, um, I think if you're conservative with it, if you're smart about it, it's, it's, it's not. I don't think there's any uh, dangers of dying super young. Maybe having minor health complications if you don't monitor things right i think that i'm not going to sit there and say just just go take a bunch of shit nothing's going to happen definitely not going to say that 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 would be completely irresponsible and just false but uh as far as dropping dead at fucking 35 40 and 29 fuck no not if you're using conservative dope there's no way you're dropping those if you would say yeah it take off years of your life you might you might die at 60 i'll believe that i'd be like okay i'll give you that even conservative use like hey you're 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 um you're lowering your lifespan you might only make it to 60 i believe that but not these guys that are these guys are dropping way younger than that, like especially Boston and Dallas McCarver. Dallas McCarver, I don't know if I said his age, he was 26 when he died. Get the fuck out of here. Like there's no, there's no you're doing extremely abusive shit um to die at that age. So no conservative anything conservative, conservative anything will not kill you at that age. Period. With anything that we're not even talking about bodybuilding right now, that could kill you. So just keep that in mind. So those were the guys that I wanted to go over, but um and there was definitely a few females that did die. I forget their names. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't follow them at all. But I remember I hearing about it. I know for a hundred percent fact. Both the both that I know about were definitely from diuretics. That's a thousand percent fact. Uh, especially the girl over in Spain. That was definitely diuretics. And uh, a few others that died. I mean, I don't. Really, it didn't really count. I'm like, well, if a seventy year old. Oh, actually, uh, one of the Mr. Chris Dickinson. Chris Dickerson. What was he the 1981, 1982 Mr. Olympia? He died just in the last few months. I don't count him either. The guys was like. This guy was like 80 years old, so it's like, oh, he's an old man. I don't like, what, what the fuck, we're all going to die something. So guys like that, I didn't even put in the category, because to me, it's just common sense. There's nothing to talk about. I mean, he died of old age. Um, and then uh, Luke Sandow, he, he he committed suicide, so I mean, that, that uh, rules that. So some of the guys, it's kind of like, there's, there's there's nothing to talk about. Like, But when it's kind of up for speculation, hey, was there um, anabolic use? Those are the guys I want to talk about, because at least for them, I can have a lot to say, because I've met them, and I know... Uh, I was a big follower of them. I was a big fan of every single one of them. As opposed to dragging out somebody who I'm just like, yeah, I kind of heard of that guy. Wasn't really sure. These guys I can actually, like, I point blank told you. The ones I think that died because of it, you, you heard of it. And the other ones, I think not. So, yeah, that's kind of what I think about it. Uh, life, life Eternal, that's that's who I said, right? Pretty sure that's what's fucking uh, Metal Musician, right? Which one asked it? Yeah, Metal Musician. That's who I asked it, God damn it. There's your answer. And uh hope this wasn't, uh, yeah. You guys have any other questions on the topics or whatever if it's this is becoming kind of interesting for you because a lot of guys think it's the dark side of fucking things or whatever and they want to hear about it or they're interested in it shoot them out there guys we can talk about it because yeah i didn't even think about doing this and uh yeah man a musician asking them, oh that's a damn good topic and i definitely got something to say about it so any other likes or any other questions outside just leave them in the comments like you always do devils and we'll see you in the next one later